Let's get ready to rumble. We're going to look at different ways to subtract and hopefully make it easier for ourselves. If we look at these two problems, I have 14 subtract 10. So I'm finding the difference of 14 and 10. This seems like a really easy problem that we should all be able to do. 14 minus 10 is 4. But now if you look at this one, I have 13 minus 9, which seems to be a little bit more difficult. However, if I took 1 from here and 1 from here, they're still staying the same distance apart. So instead of on the 14-yard line and the 10-yard line, we're still on the 13-yard line and the 9-yard line. We're the same distance apart. So if we're the same distance apart, we're going to have the same answer. So that makes our work much easier. If I had this as a problem, I could just add 1 to 13 and make it 14. I could add 1 to 9 and make it 10. So that's one way to look at our, multiple, get our subtraction. All right, looking at our subtraction. We have an easy problem here. We have 20 subtract 15. So find the difference of 20 and 15. Obviously, that is 5. Very easy, we can do it in our head. 19 minus 14, still pretty easy. We can do it in our head, but if you look at it, I took one from nine, or one from 20 and got 19, one from 15 and got 14, so they stay the same distance apart, so the difference is the same. On this third one, I added one to 20, and I added one to 15, so they're still the same distance apart. 21 subtract 16 appears to be more difficult to me, so I could change it to 20, 20 minus 15, and that makes my life easier. So all three ways we write this, it equals 15. But if I can get my problem to look like this, it makes it much easier. Now we have three, these are the same problem. I just wrote them to make them easier for me to look at. 39 minus 17. Well, if I make it, I want to get to 20, because 20 is easy to subtract from something. So what I did is I took, if I added 3 to 17, that would give me 20. If I added 3 to 39, that's going to give me 42. So these are the same difference, the same difference. So if I know 42 minus 20 is 22, that means I subtracted 1 from 42 here. I subtracted 1 from 20, so the difference stays the same. So this is going to be 22. Here, I have 39 minus 17. As I said, I subtracted 3 from 42 to get 39, 3 from 20 to get 17. And so this is an easier problem. So if I have these, I can try and make it that without changing the difference. So this one is also 22. Well, did you rumble?